Howdy y'all, welcome to ProTrucksPlus.com, this is Justin Mahaffey, and today we're checking out a, a fresh trade-in, it's a 2011 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, 70th anniversary edition, all loaded up with some really great stuff, factory and aftermarket alike. Um, comes in the Mango Tango Pearl, which is a really rare color, and it looks fantastic. Such an eye-catcher. It's got some cool aftermarket stuff on the ant side, which you may have noticed. That's a modular off-road front bumper. Um, the ends of them actually come off, so if you're in an off-road situation, you get a lot more clearance there. And this is, of course, top-of-the-line Warren 9.5 Ti Titanium Edition. And that's pretty badass in itself. It's about a 1200 bucks, not installed. Uh, that was custom fabricated by the previous owner. Those things are otherwise such a pain in the butt to get off of your winch. The license plate there. But this Jeep is in excellent condition. It only has 8,500 miles on it. Um, the guy got it, did all sorts of fun stuff to it, and decided he wanted something else. I think his actually, I think actually his hip went out was the problem. But uh, registered till March, so they got a lot of reg left. Uh, this is a swing out tire carrier. Also really badass. It matches the front one. Uh, you got some tow hooks on the rear. Um, these are custom racks for the, this holds the, the high jack, off-road jack. And uh, he actually custom fabricated these here and this, which is actually a wheel lock, so it can't be removed without your consent. And got a class five tow hitch down here, pretty beefy. And that is your backup camera. Full size spare, obviously, with the original tires on there. Hasn't been used. I'm gonna attempt to take this off. Probably gonna experience some weird camera angles at this point, so, because while I'm handling this thing, I apologize in advance. Very beefy. Uh, the antenna mounted on top of this actually goes to the ham radio, which is inside, along with uh, quite a few other cool electronic goodies, which we will discuss at length in the near future. Got a storage bin back here. Um, these are actually the plates for the modular bumper up front. I put a rag in there so they don't, they don't clang around whilst driving. Uh, that's a built-in Infinity Sub. You got a 12 volt um, power outlet there, which is nice. This rear seat folds down and then back up against the front. So you get quite a bit of storage right in there. And it's also removable, of course, so got a lot going on there. And this is nice sunshade for the front. And this is where the weird camera angle comes in, because I'm going to try to do these here. without slamming it. Oh man, it's gorgeous. It looks like a, a vehicle with only 8,500 miles on it. Um, this one is totally loaded, so the interior is really beautiful. Nice tan, black, and titanium accents throughout. It's power windows, locks, mirrors that are also heated, by the way, which you rarely see in a Jeep. Got nice cloth seats, really comfortable buckets, and then the rears are nice as well. Seating for four, and you got the head bar here with a stereo system. I think it's Pioneer, I was told, but you got lights in there as well. Uh, this top is three piece, like I said. You can remove the section above the driver's seat, you can remove the section above the passenger seat, and you can remove the rear all individual or all independently of each other which is pretty slick. And this is 70th anniversary, so you got some cool stuff throughout here. Oh man. This is one of those Jeeps that you don't just like buy and drive. This is one that you buy and make a part of your family. <laughs> I've got a 56 Willys myself, and it will always be in the family. Got the original window sticker here. It's got a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty from the factory. Pretty slick. Rubicon. You're gonna get it. Get it big. There's your Rubicon rocker panels down there. Cool. 
power locks. Uh, here's sway bar disconnect and your axle lock, exclusive to the Rubicon. Very cool. And here are the uh, aftermarket floor mats. Okay. Now I'm going to try to go from memory on all the extra stuff this thing has, which is pretty cool. All right, so it's a six-speed manual transfer case. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you got factory nav here, and it's got the works. It's got a Bluetooth voice command, voice nav, the works. Sirius satellite radio. It's got six months left on that, so you're welcome to use it. Uh, currently playing a DVD right now. It plays DVDs, obviously. That's what's happening in front of your very eyes. And uh, the previous owner added what's called a MyGig jailbreak. My gig lockpick is what it was called. Um, jailbreak lockpick, same thing. Anyways, it does all sorts of neat things like. Oh, let's see if I can get this here. So, just putting in a reverse engages the rear camera that I pointed out to you earlier. And the My Gig uh, lockpick allows you to put on three other cameras. So, you put one on the right, the left, and the front. And then engaging the blinker left, right, or just going under seven miles an hour will engage the cameras respectively, which is very, very, very neat. And then you got some other cool stuff. Uh, there's an iPod connector in there, AV cables in there, and I think that's it for that. But very cool stuff. That's a ham radio down there, not a CB radio, but a ham radio. And to use it, you have to be licensed. So get that license if you want to make. Fun with that without getting in trouble because they will catch you. Doodly do. Just kidding. I'm not kidding at all, actually. Uh, it's got cruise and uh, tilt this wheel, and it's got redundant stereo controls on the front and rear of the steering wheel, which is the first time I've ever seen that on a Jeep, actually. You got tweeters up top, and I'm watching Stuart Little. Ba -ba. I think it's just too cool. Every time you turn around, it's got something else that's yeah. sweet. So let's it's try to take it for a spin. Too scary. Just Don't worry, I can Dad. figure this out. Yank on the okay, Here we go. Oh, we're going to get a lot of glare, unfortunately. How's it so far? It's a six cylinder, got a lot of pep. Their six cylinders always put out a ton of torque and happen to be particularly reliable. Track straight, brake straight, like a new car, actually. And it still smells like a new car, too. Love that. The beauty shot. You know, the one that makes all the people behind the window feel really awkward and think that I'm insane. It's okay, I've only been do doing it for over a year now. They're pretty convinced that I'm nuts. But such a good looking car, killer color. They're nice. This video has gone way longer than normal. I really like this one. That's the simple explanation. Driving like an idiot down the road. Do -do 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 I was trying to find cars. I really like cars better than this movie. <laughs> Take a look under the hood real quick. I don't think you have to disengage it. Well, that's a factory bug deflector there. And it's um, been Velcroed on, not bolted, so you don't have to worry about any holes in the hood. Hasn't been steamed. It's in its natural state. 3.8 liter V6.
beautiful rig. Makes someone happy for many, many years to come. We're located in Livermore, California. Our phone number is 925-449-4747. My name's Justin. Thanks for hanging out.